Okay, so I had to cut out, cut off the video, stop recording because I needed to troubleshoot what was going on. And the biggest problem was that I was not winding the bobbin enough on here. So we're going to do this again. We're going to put the bobbin there. We're going to take that here. We're going to take the thread and we are going to wind it five times like it says in the manual. That's why I told you in the beginning that I used the manual and also this because the manual gives great details and when you actually follow the manual, everything actually comes out the right way. So I'm going to wind this five times. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna cut it down there. And the little cutter thing, if I can get it there. Okay, now I'm going to start it. All right, now we're successful. And according to the instructions, wow, winding bobbin thread, good. So according to the instructions, we should not allow this to go um, to be completely Full, I think, or I'm not sure. Maybe I should have just read that again. I think it stops on its own, actually. And it looks like it's gone a little crazy. So I'm just going to stop it. Alright, so we're done with that. And let me just make sure we press that. Okay, it tells us to clip this. The next part is push it this way. And pull it up. And our bobbin is threaded. Yep, we did it. Now, that's what we have. Threaded bobbin. Now we are going to hit this piece to go back. So figure out how do we drop it in. It's right here. So we're going to touch this button. <clears throat> I don't know what. All right, we did that. <laughs> um, lift. This is already lift. And we were supposed to press that to open it. I'll just show real quick. We just press that and it opens. Oh, sorry, we slide it this way and it opens. We take the bobbin and it should be turning that way, which is actually the way that you take it off from there. So it's like a P. And we're going to drop it in there and put it around. We're going to drop it in here and we're going to put it around this little um, thing that has an arrow pointed that way. Let's see what's next. And we're going to take it through there and probably cut the string. Oh, no, we're going to actually follow the guidelines here and then cut the string right there. So we take it through here. We follow the guidelines here, here, and the string is cut. We replace this here, and I guess we press this again. I have to figure out, I have to let you guys know what that is, but right now, I just want to make it through this. So clearly, uh, anyway, so the next step is that's done. All right, and that's our bobbin being threaded and placed into the machine. So now I'm going to take this thread out and I'm going to actually thread the machine. And we can thread the machine by using 
um, some help here. Um, let me see what's threading the machine. Here, that's threading the machine. It has 16 steps. First step is lifting that up. I did that already, lifting the needle. This is also making sure that the needle is up. It's right here, I've already I'll press it, it goes down, I press it again, it goes up, okay. And we still have our, our spool here from when we threaded our, our bobbin. Just gonna take that out. So I'm not gonna change anything with this. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and I'm gonna thread it. So we already have this. Um, and so we're gonna use the guideline again. We're gonna take it under here, under that and over again. So we're gonna go under and over well sorry under this as well under and under yep next step we're gonna go down and come around and when we go down and come around there there's something in here that's going to actually hook it so when we go down and around we want to go all the way up to make sure that it hooks behind that so we go down and there's actually another step in there, but I'm gonna try to do it just by using this. So we're gonna try to go around and come back down. So the controller's going up and around and down. We're gonna press this, but I think this is going to, yeah, I'm gonna tell me to do that. to hold this and put this behind. Can you come in closer to try to show how I'm threading the needle? Can you come in closer to try to show how I'm threading the needle? Can you see this piece right here? Okay. So I'm go I'm holding the thread and I'm gonna put it around that piece. Like, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next step because it's hard to to hold it there, put it around that piece. Okay, and let's see what's the next step. And then we need to go up. This actually says six right there. And this says up this way is seven. And we're supposed to go at seven. I don't know what that piece is. I think I should have something should have moved that off. And add this piece. Seven. Seven is over there and eight is here. And I think this is also a cut, right? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have cut. All right, that's eight. And now I'm supposed to put down this needle and press this. It's supposed to come down. And it's up. This is up. And it says that we are supposed to have a threaded needle. And let's see if the needle is threaded. And it is threaded. You see, just how easy that was. And we just used all the, the pictures there. So the needle is threaded. And the next step is to place it underneath the foot. Yep. 
can't even believe it's not threaded. Oh, what happened? Six, seven, eight. Here, down. I feel like it's threaded and I took it out. Let me see. Is it, okay, yeah. So I'm supposed to pull it. Pull it back there. Yeah. Alright, so it's threaded. You see? It's threaded. Now it's threaded. And I'm going to bring this up and put this underneath it. And alright, so now the machine is threaded. And we were supposed to press this. And what's after that? I don't know. And that's the threaded machine. We press that. And I'm going to try it out on some. I'm going to try it out on on this. I've already been trying a couple of stitches, but. For the sake of having to make you guys wait any longer, I'm just gonna do it. Cut off this so you can know what's the new stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna place this down here. I'm going to place that down and turn that off. I'm going to leave everything the same, which is a straight stitch. And this is the foot that I'm using, the J1. And how do I sew? I think this is how. Let me see if, I, if there's a how to sew. Well, I think this is the one. Yep. All right, so now it's green. So now I I don't even know what I just pressed, but now I think it's ready. So and it sews on its own, and it keeps a straight stitch. We're going to do a back stitch and we're going to cut and that's it. There's the new stitch we made and I hope this video was helpful.